Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would just film a what's on my iPhone video. I haven't done one in quite a while and I have a new phone so I just thought I would show y'all what I have and I do have quite a few apps that I use for like editing my videos, editing my thumbnails, stuff like that. So I thought I would just show you all what I have on my iPhone ignore my husband you can see in the background <laughs> but I'm just going to do this really quick I do have quite a few apps and I do have a larger um, phone space now so I do have quite a few apps but I just thought I would show y'all what I have so let's just get started I'm going to scoot to this side so I can put up a screen recording of my phone so let's just start that okay so this is my home screen it's just a picture of my dog as you can see and I'm going to need to get off that so um but I have three pages I don't know why I'm showing you all it's on the screen recording I have three pages of apps and then this background I got from Pinterest I think that's usually where I get my backgrounds for my phone and it's just like a purple red kind of sky with palm trees and I'm obsessed with palm trees I love taking pictures of palm trees when we're in Florida so I'm obsessed with them and I just think it's really really cute so on my first page I have a lot of just random apps and then um I have some that I've downloaded I keep a lot of them in folders just because I think it looks better and it's more organized so let's just get started so up top I have calendar clock camera my photos which I have literally a ton of photos I deleted a lot when I got my last phone or before before I got this one, I deleted a lot because I was losing space on my last phone, but I still have a ton. And then I have settings, contacts, my Apple Watch app, which I don't use a lot because I don't wear my watch a lot anymore, but I have yet. And then I have um, different notes, and I do love the new feature that they have where you can check stuff off on the notes I use that a lot and I've started using it for like my grocery list and stuff so I really like that then I have weather calculator and I have safari um I don't use I use safari I don't use google chrome I know a lot of people use google chrome but I just use safari on my phone and then I have a money folder which has my bank app capital one for my credit card paypal because I use a lot um, like small businesses around me that make t-shirts and stuff I use and pay PayPal and stuff like that and then I have my ADP mobile which is actually my payroll app for my work I can get on there and check my paychecks and that's where my pay stubs are because I don't get a paper pay stub then I have PayPal business because sometimes I will sell stuff online so I need that to send invoices if I don't want to get on my MacBook or whatever and I have Credit One, which is for a credit card too, but I actually have it paid off. So the only thing I use that for is just to pay my like monthly fee. And then I have NailNet, which is where my student loans are through. I just use that so I can just pay it real quick on my phone. And then I have Venmo, which is obviously just another app, kind of like PayPal. You can send cash to people. And then next, I have a folder for health, and I have my period app which you can just log when your period starts when it ends it tells you like when your fertile window is supposed to be active stuff like that and then i have my activity app which is what counts my workouts and my steps and stuff through um my apple watch but like i said i really only use my apple watch when i go to like lately i've been taking walks outside and stuff so i'll use it then and then I have Pre-Mom, 
which is an eye up that I'm not using anymore, but um, it's an eye up for people that are like trying to get pregnant and like trying to conceive and you can put like your ovulation test in and it'll tell you like when you're ovulating and stuff like that. Then I have my fitness pal, which I don't use anymore because I have my Apple Watch and the activity thing on here. I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm logged in, to be honest. So, then I have Zero, which is actually an app to do intermediate fasting. Intermediate, intermediate, I can't talk. Anyway, I use, I use this for a little bit to fast. I've not been doing it lately because I'm laid off from work and I've been staying up really late and then my whole schedule is like way off but you can just track your fast in here. I was doing the 16 hour fast and the 8 hour like eating window and then my next folder is music so I have Pandora. And then I have Spotify, I have Shazam, which I don't really use any of these apps anymore. Then I have music, which I just have a lot of my music in here. I have Sirius XM, because I do have that in my vehicle and I can use the app to listen to it. And then I have files, which I've learned you can download music and keep it in here. And then I have stuff for like... Um, music for my YouTube videos and then I have some YouTube videos and just random stuff like that and my next folder is my photos so I have pick frame which is just a collage app and then I have boomerang which is like the little short videos on Instagram I have afterlight which I usually only use this to just put like the white borders around my pictures i do that a lot on instagram because i just i have always done that so i just kind of keep it going and just always put the white borders around my pictures i have lightroom which i don't use a lot because i don't have any really good um presets but i know you can buy like a lot of presets and stuff i just have never really bought any i do like some of the other ones like i really like this light shadows i think it's pretty but yeah i just haven't really bought any presets with that superimpose is not free i think it's like a dollar 99 but i bought it the other day because i made the little um things to like put the instagram and twitter things on my youtube videos and you can mask out the background on that. So that's what I used that for. And then I have Fonto. Which is what I edit all of my thumbnails on. So I'll just go to like a plain image. And then um, it's 1280 by 720 for a thumbnail. And then you can choose the background. I usually just use white or black. And then you can put in... Like add the image so I'm just going to use this for an upcoming video I have filmed already and you can just move it around and then you can size it and sometimes I'll do like different ones and I'll just put that in there and then you save it and then you can open it back up and add the text and whatever and I usually what I do with the text is I'll add it like we'll just do this and then you go to the font you can choose the font you want and the style i usually turn on the stroke i do the alpha all the way up and then i'll just adjust the width and that's usually how i do the text on my thumbnails then i have snow which i've never used i have canva which is what i used to use for my thumbnails but i like fonto better now and then i have Tiza. Or I guess it's Tiza. This is what I use to edit my pictures. I really like the mood, which is what I have on this one. And then on my thumbnails, I adjust it to about 30. And I've been editing my um, Instagram pictures with this as well. And I'll just turn it down to about 30. And that's usually what I, the only thing I do to edit my pictures. Then I have 
filter, which I've never used. I have over, which I've never used. Uh, photo grid, which I've never used. And then I have VS, Visco. I don't really use yet. I think I have an account, but I don't really, like I'm not even logged in. And then I have Dias Cam, which I don't, I've never used yet. And then I have editing because I do edit most of my videos on my phone because I just recently got a MacBook not too long ago. So I'm still trying to play with iMovie and stuff on there because there's more features on there than there is on the um, iPhone. But iMovie is where I edit all of my videos. So I have a bunch of my old videos on here. And then I have VLLO. I'm not sure... Yeah, I've never um, used this before. I think you can add like little um, things on it. I'm not sure. And then I have Pocket Video, which I've not used. And then I have Video Star, which I actually used to edit the, like my intro, my new intro, which will be in this video. And I think it was in my last one as well. Um, with like the stars and the music. So I used that to do that. And if you want any videos on how to make, like, how I make my thumbnails or how I made the video with the stars or anything like that, just let me know. And then I have Facebook, which I don't have a Facebook page. It's just private. And then I have Facebook Messenger. I have Twitter, which I do have a Twitter. This is just my Twitter. It's just ADEBaby15YT. I don't really use Twitter a lot anymore. Then I have Instagram, so here's my Instagram, go follow me, um, yeah, I just, I recently switched over from just a YouTube Instagram to just, I combined my Instagrams together, then I have Snapchat, my socials are always linked down below, and then I have Pinterest, I love Pinterest so much, and I used to be obsessed with it more than I am now, but I do have quite a few boards. Um, I love Pinterest. Then I have YouTube. Obviously, you're watching me on YouTube. And then I have Progressive, which is just where I pay. Okay, sorry, my camera cut me off. But I just have Progressive, which is where I pay my car insurance. And then down here at the bottom, I have my messages, phone, my mail app, which has all my emails in it, and then FaceTime. And then I have games, which I don't play a lot of these games. I just kind of keep them on here in case I'm bored and just want to play them. So I have Phase 10, House Flip, which is the uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines game. Then I have Heyday, Greeny, which is a creepy-ass game, and I never play it. Then I have Candy Crush, Candy Crush Saga, uh, Candy Crush Soda, and then I have Wheel of Fortune, I have a Family Guy game, which is just you mix and match, like, colors and stuff. And then I have Clawy, which is, like, one of those claw games you can play at, like, stores and stuff. And then I have Slices, Diamond Digger, which I don't think I've ever played. And then I have Fruit Ninja. Then on to my shopping apps. I have Amazon, which I use the most in this folder. And then I have eBay, Afterpay. I love Afterpay. Then I have Ulta Beauty, Poshmark, which I do have a Poshmark, um, I just have a couple things listed right now, I don't have a lot. And then I have Walmart, Macari, I don't have anything on there, I used to sell on there, but now for some reason it says that my card is already linked to another account, so I can't use it. I can sell on there, but I can only get like, I can only order stuff on there with my money. So, then I have Retail Me Not, I have Sizzle, I think it's Sizzle, that's just kind of like Afterpay, and I have Etsy, and I have Walmart Grocery, and then in the Food app, these are a lot of apps that you can just like order food and go pick up or whatever, I have Papa John's, McDonald's, Starbucks, Little Caesars, Red Lobster, which Red Lobster recently just changed their rewards so you can get like more with the rewards now. And then Burger King, Jimmy John's, Subway, and I have an Instant Pot app which has recipes for the Instant Pot, and I love my Instant Pot, so I just have that app. And the next folder I have is Travel, 
outside gas buddy and this just tells you um like the cheap the gas prices are near you so um and then it'll tell you like just the gas prices and all that so then i have my ups and then i have my quest which my husband likes to use MapQuest. I just use the regular apps, but the regular Maps app. But sometimes Siri will get you lost, so I just have that. And then I have Waze. I've never used Waze, but a lot of people say it's a lot better than the Maps app because it tells you like any road conditions or like wrecks stuff like that. So I just have that. And then my TV app, I have Netflix, Hulu, Prime, Amazon Prime Video, Tubi, which I'm not sure. I've never watched anything on here, but it's supposed to have, like, shows and stuff for free on it. So, it's got, like, The Bachelor, The Conjuring. I don't know. It's just got random stuff on here. Then I have Disney Plus, and I have the Roku app because my TV in the living room is, um... A Roku so I can control the TV through my phone the next folder I have is Canon so I have the camera connect which connects my camera to my phone so I can transfer pictures or anything like that and then I have the mini Canon mini print app because I have the Canon Ivy little photo printer and then I have the Canon print app because my printer back there is a Canon then I have YouTube Studio, which is basically just where I reply to comments. I see um, my views and just how my videos are doing, all the analytics, all of that. Then I have the Double Quick Rewards app, which is a gas station near me. You can just, there's coupons and there's stuff like that on there. Then I have the Bible app. Um, sometimes I just like to go on there and look around at certain quotes and stuff like that. Then I have TikTok. I have never made a TikTok, but here's my TikTok if you want to follow me because maybe one day I will have enough guts to make a TikTok. I don't know. I do like going on here and watching people though, so I have that. And then I have Google Photos, which I just upload all of my photos on there and just keep, keep them up there so I can always have them. And then I have Arrive. Which is an app where you put in like your email, I think is what it goes by. And it just tells you like all the packages that are coming to you and when they'll be delivered. Stuff like that. And my last page, this is extras. So I have like find my iPhone, iTunes store, reminders, Bitmoji, wallet, health, measure, voice memos, app store, and shortcuts. I don't use any of that. Um... So I just have it there. And then I have speed test, which you can test your wireless internet speed with that. And then I have Indeed Jobs because me and my husband are looking to move to Florida. So I just have that on there to look at jobs around and see what I can find. So that's really it on my phone. I do have these widgets on the side here. So I have bible and then i have weather calendar activity and then i have like my battery percentage my screen time my up next events and stuff and then i have the series suggestions and the map destinations so that's really all i have on my phone i hope you all enjoyed that <laughs> um i don't most of my apps i do use i use my phone mostly for like social media and then I edit my videos and stuff on there. And I forgot to say, this is the iPhone XR. And I think I have the 256 gig. It's just the white one. Um, the camera is decent. But honestly, I would not recommend this phone. But that's just me. I'm hoping I can eventually... I have this on like one of those payment plan things. So I'm hoping I can eventually pay it off and get the iPhone 11 but for now, it does its job. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me any video requests down below that you all want to see from me next. Because I have all the time to film now. So, I'm definitely 
trying to put out more content for you guys. I'm working, um, I'm not working now, right now, so I have been trying to film or trying to upload at least once a week, so don't forget, like I said, to like and subscribe. Follow my socials that are always listed down below, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye, guys.